So today I'm going to be building a drawer and it'll look something similar to this. Well, it's going to look exactly like that minus the color. So uh, I built these for a neighbor of mine who needed something for underneath their washer and dryer so I built those for her and she has a friend that needed one and she asked if I could build them one too so that's what I'm going to do okay so the first thing I did for this project was I went back to look at the old cut list that I had because I was making two drawer two drawers so it took um, more pieces of plywood than it's going to take for this one. This one's only going to take one piece of plywood to cut it all out. So I went to a website, I downloaded a program that I downloaded before to get the cut list and it optimizes all the cutouts I have. So here are the cutouts that I have and all I have to do is take this, go over to the piece of wood, mark out what I need to cut or measure out what what I need to cut, cut that piece, measure the next one, cut it, measure the next one, cut it, so on and so forth. So this was my first step other than getting the wood, this was my first step on getting it going and now I'm going to go outside and get this onto the wood and start cutting. So let's do that. So as you can see here I have my wood set up on my saw horses ready to go. I've got my tools over there, I've got them ready to go. All I have to do now is measure them out, cut them out, and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to cut them out and use camera magic to show you what that looks like afterwards. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see behind me over here, I've got all my pieces cut out. Now the next step after that is to just assemble everything. So we gotta, I'll show you a couple clips of putting it together and then the finished product. I drilled my pilot holes and now I'm going to put my corner clamps on so I can hold together for an accurate 90 degree angle and then drill some more pilot holes, glue it, screw it. I've got the box almost done. The only thing it's missing is the top piece. Now the reason I haven't put that on yet is because I'm going to make the drawer, make sure that it fits inside there, and I've got the soft close rails that I'm going to attach, and I have to make sure everything fits before I put the lid on. So drawer, rails, lid. Got the drawer done. Uh, the only thing left to do now is to put the sliders on, attach them to the wall of the drawer and the wall of the actual drawer itself, and then slide it in into place. I made myself this little jig so that when the drawer closes, it's at an angle so that it slides automatically once the slide back to the back. And all I have to do there is make sure that I place the um, sliders right in the middle of the wall.
Okay, so I had to stop filming yesterday because it got really hot outside so I couldn't show you everything that I did. I finished up what I could and this is finished except for one thing. I need to put the face plate on. However, I did get the rails in place right here and right here. So the drawer slides. So now all that's left to do is the face plate. I got the face plate right here. I got it. I'm starting to clamp it down. I'm going to use the router and make an edge on it. And then after I do, after I route it and clean it up a little bit, I'm going to attach the handle to it right in the middle. And then I'm going to attach it right here. So the handle is going to be on the outside and I'm going to screw from the inside of this drawer to the faceplate to hold it on to the actual drawer itself. So that's what's next. finished with the drawer as you can see works great the only thing I have left to do now is give it to the owners so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up share the video and tell your friends about it too so that you know they can come subscribe to our channel I'll be doing some more projects like this later on Brad, I'm probably going to have to wait for it to cool down. So the next couple videos will probably be me crocheting or something inside where it's cooler. Because 100 degree weather is not fun to work in. So thanks for watching. Bye.